Hello, hello, hello. All my friends in the hood, in the neighborhood, in the good hood, in the golf course, in the gated community, in the projects, it don't matter. We all here for the same reason. We all here to talk about some food, uh, uh, some eating, uh, uh, some getting down in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, mm. Okay, yeah. Y'all, I finally, I finally got to a different place. Praise God. I'm no longer, I'm no longer down and out and sad. I'm going to get on with it. Here we go. Okay. I need a whisk, 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 whisk. There's a whisk. Okay. How's everybody doing today, people, peeps? Rhonda. Hey, girl. Hey. Thank you, Jeff and Andrea. Uh, yeah, I laid it down today. Woo. Going to get a haircut this evening. Super excited. First professional haircut I've had in over a year. How you like that? Been cutting my own hairs. So anyways, hope everybody's having a great day. We are getting ready to make the most deliciousest cake you have ever eaten in your life. Uh, Pam, yeah, mom's doing good. She passed her swallow test uh, yesterday, so they're going to be taking her uh, feeding tube out of her nose today, hopefully, and very soon she'll be going to a rehab to get physical therapy and get back on her feet. She's doing good. Happy, happy, happy. Thank you guys so much for the comments on the her. Her it is. Her it is. <laughs> Yeah, um, actually conditioned it and and uh, tried to actually blow dry it and everything this morning. Uh, normally, I don't have time or energy for all that, but I'm making time. I'm fixing to make time for a lot of things that I ain't made time for lately. But that's a whole other video. Okay, Eunice is making homemade rolls today, folks, and I heard... I heard that she'll sell you a batch for eight dollars I think is the price so if you live near Eunice check her out buy some rolls get her get her get her get it get it okay now pineapple sunshine cake some people call this a pig picking cake some people have even called this better than sex some people have called it everything in the world we call it pineapple sunshine cake because I personally uh, pig picking cake was our you know I just I didn't care for it so we didn't do it okay pineapple sunshine cake here we go the first thing you're gonna need is a pan a glass or metal nine by I think nine by 13 is the measurements and I'm out of cooking spray so what you want to do is take you some butter or smargarine or smargarine or whatever and just kind of coat the bottom and the sides of your pan. We were just kids when we fell in love. And the reason we're doing this is because we don't want it to stick like that that's a lot of butter and stuff okay i'm gonna kind of use my hands for a minute okay that's a lot that's okay though butter makes everything better i mean literally butter and better are like one letter apart <laughs> i mean how crazy is that so you know it's the truth okay so here we go now, what you got cooking in the kitchen today? I got a pineapple sunshine cake. Yeah, yeah. Feeling good, folks. Feeling good. Okay, here we go. So now we got that all buttered and covered and smothered. 
We're going to set that out of the way. Okay. You're going to need a mixing bowl. A good one. It don't have to be a good one. If you got a bad one, it's okay too. We're going to put in one box of yellow cake mix. Yellow, 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 yellow. My floor is sticky and I've mopped it five times and I cannot make it stop being sticky. Okay, here goes the yellow cake mix. All right, now, pink, 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 pink. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to add three eggs. One, two, I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. Count with me. One. I always liked the count. Count. He was so funny. A one. A two. He's funny. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to add is giving the name one can of crushed pineapples. Pineapples, pineapples. Juice and all. Put it right in there. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Now we're gonna take our whisk and we're gonna stir it up. Oh yes. Yummy, yum. Look how that's so pretty. It's a nice buttery yellow color. Isn't that pretty? Yay. You gotta make sure you break up your eggs real good. You don't want a piece of scrambled egg in the middle of your cake. Look at there. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Stir it up. Working them arms out. Yeah. Do the other one. Yeah. This one's, this one's strong. Look at that. Oh, welcome to the gun show. Who says cooking is not a workout? Got to break a sweat. Okay. Now. Now we're going to take this and we're going to pour it straight into our pan. I'm going to take a little rubber spatula. Listen, y'all, if you don't have any of these things in your kitchen, please go buy some today. You don't know how much easier and faster it is to scrape stuff out of a bowl with very little waste until you use one of these things. It's the bomb. Okay. Over here. I'm gonna run some water in it. Okay. Trying to stay on top of this house cleaning. Okay, now we got our cake. Shoot. I didn't preheat my oven. One minute. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we want to go three fifty. Three fifty. Here we go. Cake going in the oven. Now it's going to take about 35-40 minutes for that to cook. But that's okay. Because I have to make the topping. Okay. Let's clean up a little bit. Let's be proactive. This kitchen is so small and I'm so crowded and clustered in here. If I don't clean as I go, it gets bad. Okay. Now, I'm going to need my bowl over here. So let me go wash it real quick. 
wash, wash, wash the bowl. And then rinse. Woo! Get it. Now see, I don't know what y'all do. Everybody says, do the dishes as you go. And I'm like, dang it. Ain't everybody got time to do the dishes as you go sometimes, okay? Calm down. It's okay. Now, i dry this out. Let me get a different towel. Yes. So excited about this cake. I've been trying to make it for like three weeks. I've had the ingredients. And I just couldn't get her together. Okay. Now, here we go. Okay, now I will go ahead and tell y'all something real fast. Okay. This may or may not work out. Because these Cool Whips accidentally got left in the car and they kind of melted. And that's what I was afraid of. Hold on. Yep. <laughs> that's a bad day right there. Okay. Well. Now, see, this is where it gets interesting. What is that? This is where it gets fun, y'all. We get to see how resourceful I am. Let's see here. Let me see. What I got? I have milk. Okay. I have milk. I have milk. And I have spray whip. Okay. Okay. Normally, this is not how we do this, but today we're going to improvise. You know why we're going to improvise? We're going to improvise because my Cool Whip was melted and not in good shape. Okay. Let me give you the actual recipe real quick before we improvise. Normally, what you would put together is two containers of Cool Whip and one box of cheesecake flavored uh, pudding, okay? But we are doing things a little different and then you would add your mandarin oranges into that and mix that all together for the icing. But since we don't have Cool Whip, we're gonna go a different route. We're going to use two packages, and it's still going to be good. I don't care what nobody says. Two packages of cheesecake flavored pudding mix, okay? Two packages. Then, we're going to add... Okay, there it is. Okay. Now we're going to put in two, three, let's see. It's two cups per package and we want it really thick. So we're going to put in three cups of milk. So that means we're going to cut it back one cup. Okay. Improvise. Make it work, baby. Make it do what it do. Okay. There's two, three cups. There's three cups. Okay. So now we're going to take our little whisk. And we're going to whisk. I don't hardly ever use my electric beater. Unless I'm doing something like Thanksgiving dinner. Because I don't want to clean that dang thing up. So. We're going to whisk all this together. Good Lord, folks. There's 373 people on here right now. Heavens to Betsy. I'm feeling kind of paranoid about that. Well, Lord, I'm glad you are all here. 
Okay, we're going to whisk this until it gets really thick. Or until it starts to thicken. And then we're going to have to let it set for a minute. Gosh, I love cheesecake flavored pudding. It's the best thing ever. Look there. Watch it. Watch it. I'm getting a workout. Look at that flabby fat arm go on. Yes. Uh, this is a really nice little uh, cake you can keep in the fridge. You know, keep it nice and cool. You've been outside working in the yard or something, mowing, weeding the garden. You come in, put you a big slice of this on a plate. Oh, have mercy. Okay, here we go. I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to see about it. We're just going to squirt it all in there. I'm just going to... Well, not all of it. I mean, who can... Literally, who can get their hands on one of these without like this? Mmm. Get bam. Come on with it. Squirty squirt. Let's go. All of it. I want it all. Because I want it all. Feels like there's some still in there. Come on. Don't be seen. Get out of there now. Come on. Okay. Never mind. We're just going to fold that in. Just fold it in. Okay. Now, if we had some sour cream, we might fold that in too. I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to get crazy. I'm about to get crazy. Well, just hold on a minute. I'm about to get crazy. Here's a pack of banana. A pack of banana instant pudding. Let's see what this does. Woo! About to get wild. About to get crazy. I want it to be really thick, y'all. Like a really thick. Yes. Oh my yummy goodness. Banana. B A N A N A S. Yeah. Okay. Now, y'all, here we go. Hold on. Oh, oh. I can do it. There we go. Now, these mandarin oranges, we are going to drain those. We don't need no more liquid up in this right here. Okay. One. Let's see what size. 15 ounce can of mandarin oranges. We'll see what that looks like. If I like the way it looks, we'll stop right there. If not, we'll put another can in there. Because you know why? Because that's what we do. Because I don't care. I'm not scared at all of more mandarin oranges. Yes. And I'm going to take this juice right here. Because I still got them old, sorry, LaCroix drinks that I bought. That uh, I'm pretty convinced right there are just of the devil. And here goes number two. Yes, we're going to do two. I like it. Smush them up a little bit and stir them in. Okay, now. While the cake is baking, we're going to throw this deliciousness. First of all, because I don't know for sure if this is going to be good or not. Hmm. <laughs> So I'm gonna get me a little bite. That's horrible. That's awful. Time to give. This is the really Leslie. Did you? Yep, yeah, I did. Okay. In the fridge it goes. In the fridge it goes. So it can kind of thicken up a little bit for our cake. I gotta pick up all these pudding boxes. Hang on a minute. Okay, so now cake's in the oven. Uh, topping is in the fridge. We're on it now. While we wait, while we wait, I am getting ready to do a ham um yes they had hams on sale 
at Kroger, at my Kroger this week, for 99 cents a pound. So, I say anytime I can get my hands on some meat for less than a dollar, I'm in. I'm in. I'll make it work. I don't even care what it is. If it had been chicken feet, we'd have done something with it. Okay. So now here we go. Let's get this uh, little mishap picked up right here. Hold on. Oh, where'd my rag go? There's my rag. I don't know what you call it where you're from, but here in Kentucky, this is a dish rag. And it's used to wash the dishes. <laughs> wash them! Dish rag. All right, dish rag. Went to a hotel one time in Washington, D.C. My mom and them did. I didn't go on that trip, but my mom and them went to, a, they went to Washington, D.C., you know, look around everything. And they stayed in the hotel there nearby. And uh, they went down to the front desk to ask for more wash rags. And the people did not know what they was talking about. They didn't know. Wash rags. I don't know. I mean, that's what we've always called it, so I don't know. Oh, God. I'm not my brain's out. Okay, here we go, folks. Now, part two of this little video while we're waiting for a cake to bake is fried cabbage. Fried cabbage, or do I want to do the ham? I don't know. Let me think about it for a minute. I'm going to think it over. Let's see. So. Oh, there we go. Big Bertha. It's my favorite skillet. Does everybody have a favorite skillet? I know I do. Okay, folks, we're gonna do cooked cabbage right quick. Then if our cake's not done, we might do a ham. Who knows? We never know. It could get crazy in here today. All right, so here we go. Now, first things first, we're going to get this thing right here going. Now, what we want to do is Where's that bacon? I just had bacon in my hand. What the crap? There it is. I knew there was bacon in here. Okay, so we're going to take uh, some bacon. Now, I've already got... Knife? I've already got some uh, black-eyed peas going. And if you say... Oh, this is like a New Year's Day dinner. It kind of is because I was kind of just craving ham and field peas or black eyed peas and um, fried cabbage and just all that together. I was just craving it and we're gonna make a big old pan of cornbread. It's gonna be great. So the first thing we're gonna do is take about one, two, three, four, five, about six, five or six slices of bacon and I'm gonna cut it up into uh, sections. I'll show you. Do do. Because let me tell you what. Fried cabbage, it ain't no count without a little fat. Okay? Pieces like this right here. We're going to just throw them right in there. Okay? Scatter them all out. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. Oh, I got something I want to show you. A friend of mine named Reba Faye sent me this because she knows how I like to cook with the cast iron. And it slides, look here, it slides on the handle. See, because that way you don't burn your hand off. I've done it a thousand times. And if anybody would like information on where to get one of those, because I know we're not supposed to be selling on here, uh, just give me a, just shoot me a message and I'll send you her Etsy info, okay? She's on the Etsy. She sells all kinds of little doodads to use with your cast iron. It's so neat. Okay. So we're going to fry up this bacon. And then it ain't going to hurt nothing to go ahead and uh, add some seasoning. And then we'll probably add just a little bit more and we get our cabbage in there, okay? Alright. Cooking the bacon. Yes. Nothing cooks bacon quite like cast iron. Alright, actually I've changed my mind. I ain't gonna add the I ain't gonna do it. So while that bacon is frying, we're gonna scoop this thing right up out the way. Okay, now, I got two heads of cabbage, one of them, whoa, hold on, hold on, everybody, sorry about that, woo woo, one of these is going to be for making this cooked cabbage, and one of them is going to be for making coleslaw. Cause I'm in the mood for that too. Look at that knife. That's a knife right there. Okay, so this has been abused a little bit. But we're just gonna trim him up. Come from a battered home. Ha. It's okay, you're getting ready to go in my belly. In my belly. Alright. Get all that off there. And we're going to trim a few more places up here and there. You don't want no crusty cabbage now. You got to keep it nice and neat. All right. So here we go. We're going to just cut this thing off here in big sections. Now, Everybody kind of has their own way, all right? So that core, we'll put it in the freezer and we'll make, uh, woo, we'll make uh, vegetable broth when we get us a bag full. Okay, bacon's frying. Okay, so I like to cut mine in squares about like this right here. I just throw it right in there. I don't care. Some people like strips. Some people like big chunks. Some people like whatever. Some people like it uh, shredded up like kraut. I just like my little squares. And they don't have to all be the same. And listen, when you're frying cabbage, here's something important to know. This is going to cook down a bunch, okay? It's going to cook way down. So what you need to do is you need to fill that skillet as full as you can get it 
so you'll have an actual because if you just barely cover the bottom of it you'll just have a little handful of cabbage when you're done you gotta you gotta pile it up you gotta pile it in there you gotta keep it stacked and you're like well how's all that cook well i'll show you Alright, we're cutting the cabbage. Slicing it up. Piling it in. Just piling it in there. Alright, we're going to make room for this last piece right here. Lord, that smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Okay. Now, now, we're going to do our seasoning. And again, this is, uh, this is up to you. You do what you do, okay? This is what I do. Here we got a little sea salt. We are gonna put that in there like that right there. Gotta have a little salt. Little onion powder. Yes ma'am. Gotta have a little black pepper, okay? This is what makes it. All right, if you don't put black pepper on it, don't even bring it to me. I ain't going to want to eat it without black pepper on it. And then for me, I like a little crushed red pepper. Not much. Just a little bang, bang. Choo, choo, train. A little heat. Yep. Okay. Now, we're going to kind of stir some of that up from the bottom. Okay. Do some over here. Up. Up. Okay. Now, there's our big pan full. Now we gotta find the lid. There it is. Put the lid on the skillet and let it go. Now, I'm gonna go check on the cake. I'm gonna set this over here. Let it do what it's gonna do. I'm gonna check my cake. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Looks good. Oh gosh, can't reach my... Oh, okay. Okay, y'all, this is perfect. Come out just, well, no, it didn't. It's still soft in the middle, here we go. So we're gonna let that cook a little bit longer. I thought it was done. I was like, that was fast. Okay, so, while we're waiting, Ain't no sense in wasting time. We might as well get this ham ready. All right. First thing I do, I'm gonna take this up to the sink so I don't make a mess and get the plastic off of it. I'm not a big advocate of 
the meat rinsing. That's just not what I do. But I am doing it today because I have a reason. Okay. Sometimes on these hams, this is smoked ham. And it's got the bone in it right there, okay? Sometimes when they're cutting these, they leave little fragments of bone. And I like to rinse all that off. Okay, now, we're going to dry this ham. I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to go around and just pat dry the ham. I have a reason. Just bear with me. Okay. All the way around. Just dry it up. Get all the extra liquid off. Dry the ham. Okay. Now, here's what's going to happen. Getting ready to go down. Okay. We're going to add. Whoa, 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 Leslie. Whoa. I almost forgot. Most important thing. We have to score this, okay? So, I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to cut deep into the ham. All the way around that way. And then we'll cut, come about an inch, inch and a half apart that way. Oh, that way. All right. Then we'll go over here and do the same thing. I'm going to go deep all the way around. Okay, now we're going to go this way. Okay. Let me do this side. Okay, see those little squares we're making? There's a reason. There is... A reason to my chaos always okay there we go now we're going to turn it back around like this right here okay so now you see how we've cut the little squares okay so here's what we're doing now we're going to take regular yellow mustard okay regular yellow mustard And we're going to go around like this right here. I'm going to have to move the comments out of the way. There we go. So I can see. Let's see if I... There we go. Okay. We're going to put... Somebody said, watch your hands, girl. I know. it. I'm bad for cutting myself. I have done that a time or two. Okay. So now we're going to take our best kitchen tool... The one the good Lord give. And we are going to slather on this mustard. Every nook, every cranny, give it a good massage. Give it like a first date massage. You know, get in it. Get in it. <laughs> you know, like you're trying to impress a man. Act like you're going to give him back rubs for the rest of his life. Shoot. <laughs> that ain't happening. Maximum. I'm handing out 10 back rubs. For the whole duration of our relationship. Ten. And nine of them was till you put the ring on it. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. My man wants a back rub. I say, come here to me, my love. And I rub that back. Sure do. Ask him. Of course, it's not like he rubs my back. You know. I mean... 
my man's idea of a good back rub is 30 seconds of pinching my back and basically causing me to hurt. And then he's like, oh, well, I don't want to hurt you. Like, I'm like, come on, boy. Ooh, this cabbage smells good. Yes. I'm going to crank down the heat just a little. Let it continue on. Function, function, function. Okay. Now, here we go. We got our mustard on our hand. Okay, now we need to mix up some other ingredients. So, I'm going to go over here to my little bag of tricks. And we're about to pull out some stuff. Now, y'all, this is just what I do. You don't have to do this. This is what I do. This is my deal. But I wouldn't lead you astray, okay? It's good. Just trust and believe. Okay. Now, we're going to mix this all up together. We're going to do garlic powder. Some cinnamon. Somebody said cinnamon. What? Cinnamon. What? Some ginger. Yeah, yes. And just a little bit of allspice. Ch -ch 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 Ching. Okay. Now we're gonna put in a little bit of onion powder. Some black pepper, some salt, boom, good. Ham's already kind of salty, so don't get carried away. All right. Now, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take and I'm just going to stir them all together, okay? That's going to be my ham rub. All right. Now, see, that's why we did this mustard for flavor and for a little sticky stick. See, them seasonings, they're going to stick right on there. This is going to make a crust on this ham like you've never seen before, okay? It's gonna be the bomb. And sometimes you gotta get back here on the sides and just throw it at it. Just throw it at it. There we go. All right, now, here comes the best. Brown sugar. We're gonna take this brown sugar and just kinda Make us a little brown sugar pack on here. Okay? It's going to stick. It's going to stick. It's going to hold it all in. Somebody said, well, it's a lot of stuff you know to put on a ham well things that are good take time see that's what everybody don't in this day and time we live in now everybody wants it right now right now hurry up hurry up fast 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 listen you got to take your time when you're really cooking like for real for real you got to take your time. Okay, there it is. Now, put this back. Well, 
well done so we're gonna move this over and I'm gonna keep it just like I had it on the plate see that's the key right there everybody says oh okay we're gonna press that all in there well that made a mess Then you get you a brown sugar hand scrub all at the same time your hands will be soft okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to just come on set this aside and i'm just going to leave it for like a couple of hours i'm going to let all that work and soak down in them little cuts i made see right before husband gets home I'm gonna pop this thing in the oven yes girl that's why i'm married i ain't gonna lie it ain't for my looks that's why he's staying around okay let's check out our cake my god children i need a new stove oh it works well okay it's done now So now we gotta let her cake cool down and everything. And then let me show you the cake. It got a little brown on top because my oven's jacked up. But see here? Golden. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw this up in the freezer. We're gonna let it cool down. We're gonna see about this cabbage right here. Hold on. Oh, yes. Now, cooking this cat. Let me move it over here to where you can see it. Hang on. Cooking cabbage is a matter of preference. Some people. Some people like their cabbage like really mushy and floppy and done. Me, I like mine to still have a little bit of texture to it. So this is almost getting there, okay? It just needs a little bit longer. And always, always, always remember to cook your cabbage in a pan that you have a lid for or something you can throw a plate over or something like that because that's the key because otherwise the bottom gets burnt and the top don't get done and it's just drama 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 okay so we're going to pop the lid back on there for just a few more minutes now let's take a look at the uh the cow peas over here or the black eyed peas or whatever you call them field peas here we go oh yes oh yes that's going down put some bacon in there with it it smells so good over here we got the ham marinating and waiting and then over here we have our beautiful fried cabbage yes 
peeps, this is getting ready to get so good up in here. So good. Now we got this cake cooling in the oven. Now the only thing left to do with the cake, y'all, is let it cool. And then we're going to throw our topping on there. And it'll be cut and serve time. So, that is our live session for today. Now, if anybody has any questions, and again, my friend that made this little deal for me, Marie Buffet, if you want to know where you can pick some of those up, uh, she has a bunch of other little doodads too. Just send me a PM. And I guess, folks, we will get out of here and uh, try to get this dinner put on together. And just, I want to let everybody know, I appreciate you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk to you on the next one.